So let's go to our category view controller and on top where our variables are, I'm going to, to create two private variables. Uh, it's actually going to be constant private let section inset. <clears throat> and <clears throat> sorry, and this is going to be <clears throat> UI <clears throat> age insets, and we're going to do top to be 20 points, left to be 10 points, bottom to be 20 points, and right to be 10 points. And then I'm going to say how many items per row I want. As you remember from our ready application, we want to have three cells per row. So we say private let items per row. And this is going to be a CG float. And it's going to be equals to three because we want only to have three items. Once we have set these uh, two variables, we can scroll down all the way, remove this extra space, and after our curly braces, I'm going to do an extension, and I'm going to call my uh, class name, which is a category collection view controller, and we're going to extend to UI collection view delegate flow <coughs> layout and now that this extension will conform to the protocol of our UI collection view delegate flow layout and here we are going to write three functions that are going to help us dynamically set uh, our cells the way we want them the first one is going to be called uh, size for item at index path Then we have another function that is called inset for section path. And the third one is minimum line spacing for index path. So these are the three functions that we are going to write as uh, we want. So we start on uh, top, we are going to put let padding space is equals, and we're going to get our uh, section insets that we just created, and we're going to grab the left of it, and we're going to multiply this, and we're going to multiply it items Per row plus one so our padding will be the number of items we want and we add one to have some space and then we are going to have uh, another constant here and call this available width because we don't know how much is our screen width because different fonts will have different width and we are going to do this dynamically so we are going to access our view then we're going to access the frame of it and we're going to get the width. So this will return our screen width and then we're going to minus uh, padding space that we have just created. And finally, we are going to say let width per item is equals and we get our available width. So now that we have our much space we have after adding, uh, taking our uh, padding space from our whole size of the screen. We're going to say available width is equals, uh, we are going to take available width and we're going to divide it to items per row. So this will divide our available width into three sections. So we take the whole we take out some space in order to have a padding in between them so they don't stack up on the screen or between them. And then we divide it into items per row, as many items we want to have. And then we're going to return 
because in our function here we comp promise that we are going to return a CG size. We are going to return a CG size and we are going to create one with width and height and our width is going to be our uh, width per item and the height is going to be again width per item because we want to have square cells. So this function is fixed. Then we are moving on to the second one. Here uh, we have to re uh, return UI edge insets and here we already have UI edge insets and we can simply return that. So we say return and I'm going to call it section insets. And for our minimum line spacing for section, again, we're going to return CG float. In our case, I can say return uh, section insets and we're going to access the left because these are our margins we put and our left is 10 points here. Okay. And let's rerun our application and to see if this code makes any difference to our user interface now. And this uh, set our cells correctly. But what, what's the issue now is that our uh, line here, our label is getting out of its size. So in order to understand visually how it looks better, I'm going to select my category here, uh, view controller, and let's change the background color into something like uh, maybe light gray. And let's rerun. And also let's select our cell and our background, we're going to set this to be white. And let's run again. So we have some contrast between our cells and our background. So now you can see where our cells are. And the currently issue is with our uh, labels that they are resizing and breaking all the size of our labels, uh, of our view here. So let's uh, select our label and see what, what, what's the issue here because our label should be zero line so we are going to go over uh, two lines here and currently we have our margins set so i think the problem is something with our uh, x code being better with all this mess but let's uh, anyway let's try to fix this issue 